Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Drew Borgen. This could be the next hockey video. Is This is the edition of the Pond Key Take as we're talking about the AHL's Player of the Month um, in Seth Griffith, who was drafted by the Bruins oh so many years ago in 2012, has had a handful of NHL games in 80 games. He has 8 goals and 11 assists for 19 points, but has been a heck of a AHL were in his career and is having a career year this year after he got hot at the end of last season last year for the Bakersfield Condors uh, going into like the end of February, March part of last season, um, which of course started late uh, in 39 games. Last season he had 28 points. This year in 2080 he has 38 points and is one of the best scorers on his team. Uh, he played one game in the NHL. Obviously he hasn't found the most keen success consistently at the NHL level, but either has the Arson Zarnix of the world who's come up and had success with the um, Islanders in a couple games this year, and either has um, the Jerry Mayhews of the world who's a former AHL MVP, and, and he's came up and had success with a very downtrodden Flyers team this year, so there's nothing to say with a team that's sputtering in the Edmonton Oilers that's looking for any help with their forward core that he can't be someone that provides at least a four to five, six, seven, whatever game spark that some of these other cats, even Andy Andreoff, who was once a King's top prospect, has gone up with the Isles this year and played well in a couple games. Um, so you have these guys for a reason to dominate the AHL level, be great guys for your young developing prospects in the AHL level to mentor them and bring them along, but also to be guys that fill in and do well when needed. And there's nothing to say that Seth Griffith won't be used as that uh, with the Edmonton Oilers at some point this season because he's playing arguably minus the 77-point season he had early on in his AHL career when he was back with the Bruins on his age with Providence in 2015-16, his best AHL season at the age of 29. Uh, if you doubled up his point share right now, um, he would be one point less than his best season, which was 77 with the Bruins in 15-16. And he has a chance to even get to that this year. Uh, he's one of the better performers overall. Um, on both sides when it comes to assists and scoring. Uh, he's completely um, got better on both ends of the puck, which obviously helps his chances of getting back to the pro level. And also the fact that, again, the Edmonton Oilers are sputtering uh, helps his chances of getting back to the pro level. The reason uh, Griffith fell in the draft is really um, he, he had the size concern at 5'9", and also obviously... He had a lot of fine-tuning, which is why you pick guys um, in the fifth round at that time. But then when he came up and uh, he got drafted, uh, excuse me, I meant to say, he immediately started producing with 20 goals in his first AHL season and had 31 points in the second, which is nothing to scoff at. Then he even had 10 points in his first 30 games in the NHL, which for a, a fifth-round pick is very good. Uh, then kind of just wasn't able to find it, was very good in the uh, AHL level. His career year was after that first NHL season, so then they called him back up, the Bruins did, thinking he would um, produce for them. That didn't come to be. He then played for the Maple Leafs for a couple games in 16-17. Uh, also did good for the Marlies when he was down there, played for the Panthers for a couple games, uh, 21 games actually for them, uh, where he was able to produce five points. So, he hasn't been able to find a groove minus the first 30 games of his career at the NHL level where he played pretty well. But there's nothing to say having his best career year, arguably this year, at the age of 29. We've seen other guys due to COVID in the last two seasons have to come up and make an impact that wouldn't probably have gotten another chance otherwise. He might be the next guy on that list, Seth Griffith. He's the player of the month. He greatly deserves it. As um in the month of January, uh, Seth Griffith had nine games played, six goals and twelve assists for ten points, um or six goals and twelve assists for eighteen points. I can't do uh, math or read. Um, as Seth Griffith continues to be a dominating force at the AHL level, maybe he will get another chance at the NHL level because again, the Edmonton Oilers, as we do a check in on the standings for their NHL club. Um, the Edmonton Oilers right now are not sitting in a great spot of 22-16-3 and three, um, outside of the playoff race, 47 points to 50 points by the Calgary Flames, a fellow Alberta rivalry. I could see him getting an opportunity um, soon to see what he can do. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Hope you stay safe out there. Hope you enjoyed this video on Seth Griffith. Please continue to subscribe down below, up above on the easy-to-use Widget to help us grow to 200 at the end of February. Gold. This has been the latest edition of the Ponky Take. As you go over one of the players of the month in Seth Griffith. Stay tuned for my Rookie of the Month and Goaltender of the Month video. Peace out, everybody.